Okay, today we're going to shade a cone. You're going to draw two diagonal lines with a ruler that point in toward each other, but don't touch the top. Then, using a lid, you're going to trace the curve at the bottom. and freehand draw an oval up top and a table line in the background okay next you're going to determine where the light source is coming from and I want you guys to all put the light source over here on the right making this side of our cone light and this side of our cone dark then you're going to draw a line down the center lightly with your blending tool that represents a stop sign where I want you to stop shading with your pencil okay let's get started you should be moving your pencil around in tiny little circles and we're putting on the dark value so you should be pressing as hard as you can the bottom of the cone is wider than the top so we're going to put more dark at the bottom than we are the top like that now you're going to start adding lighter value, but you don't want to get too light too fast. You want to do this gradually. Now I'm almost to the center line, so by now you need to be pressing very soft with your pencil, creating a very light value. Okay, there you go. Now we're not done, we still have to blend with our blending tool, so we're going to pick up that tool and still shading in little tiny circles. You're going to rub over all the pencil marks, trying to blend out any pencil strokes or lines that you may see. You're going to go on past that halfway mark. A little bit more value down here at the bottom so right about here I start pressing softer not so hard because I don't want too much of a mark to be made and my goal is to just get this value to slowly look like look like it disappears to that light side you may have to go back darken in any light patches 
Okay, just like that. If you guys can still see a dark line down the center, you need to take your pencil on the light side of that line and darken a little bit more and then re-blend. Also, if you did not shade all the way here or if you didn't leave this white, you need to take an eraser and just dab it a little bit to create yourself the light value. Okay, you're gonna put your value on the top of the cone with your blending tool. Then we're gonna draw a shadow. I want you guys to use your ruler again for this. Diagonal line here. Another diagonal line here, but slightly pointing in toward the other. And then you're going to shade this darkest underneath. Dark to light there with your pencil, and then again, blend with your blending tool. Try to fill in any light patches you have. Okay, and the last thing that you guys need to do is erase all of your outlines. So along this light side, erase that as best you can. Erase a little bit up here at the top. And then up there at the top, you might have to put your value back on just a little bit. If you see any outlines along your shadow, erase those. There's a cone.